doing exercise. Exercise. Hello. Hey everyone. Long time no see for those that have watched us for a while. Um, Welcome to new viewers as well. Yeah. Uh, Thank Andrea, you. Andrea, Omar, Indigo Escape, beautiful property in Portugal. Yeah. And uh, Carpenter Bee flying around. <laughs> So we have a tiny home as well, we're going to be doing that first so we are more comfortable and then we're going to be renovating very very soon actually because we have funds now because we went to work, yay! <laughs> and uh, but yeah, it's um, it was a bit of an unexpected summer, we've been very quiet here for a reason, yeah. unfortunately I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video uh, because we have a big list to do. Uh, because I'm going back to the UK, Omar is going to stay. I'm going to be looking after this place. I'm going to be making films as well. <laughs> so you're going to see some inter interesting video editing, I'm sure. <laughs> but don't worry. I'll help you with that. Though, I'm right? really excited. And um, yeah, so we have a, there, there's a lot of tidying up. So yeah, we're going to show you now how we found the property basically. It's just a bit overgrown, but nothing big, nothing too bad. All right, let's do it. Oh, by the way, filming after a while is a little bit odd, so bear with us. <laughs> Well, we just realized we are actually not allowed to do any streaming today. <laughs> you have to go onto this website. I don't think you can see me. Here. You have to go on this website and check if you can stream or if you can do barbecues or if you can do um, firecrackers as well, fireworks. <laughs> But um, we did check it yesterday, actually. Yeah, it yesterday it was, right. was fine, but today is red. Yeah. So yeah. we're not allowed to actually do. It's a little bit confusing if you can use streamers with plastic, which is the one we have, or the one with metal. The metal one is definitely a no-no because that can spark something. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we just make sure. Just oh. um, precautions. We've done most of it. At the yeah. We were just working on the aero, but I can imagine that you can like. Make a piece of metal go flying, and then it hits up against a rock, and that causes a spark. So I think that's where the risks are. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So you guys have probably noticed that the the floor here is super uneven, and there's all these grasses and weeds growing through it. So basically, that's going to change uh, relatively soon because this wall is going to be coming down. And then all the junk that we have in it, we're going to uh, use that to fill up the space underneath the schistu. So we're going to raise up the floor here, and then we'll relay all the schistu stones that are here at the moment uh, in a much neater fashion uh, with good pointing. So uh, the good stones that remain, we're going to rebuild that wall, and half of it's going to be used with breeze block on the inside, and then there'll be a cavity, and then all the good rocks will be uh, on display. So it will look like the original thing but it will just be a lot more efficient for energy and much quicker to build. <laughs> I think you're out of breath.
Righty. Do it. Righty. Okay. You can take that one. Should we put it on the table? Yeah. Oh, the coffee's hanging the way. Solar panel summer. <laughs> wow, what does that mean? Off grid. We're going off grid, guys. I'm so excited. We always wanted to go off grid, but then EcoFlow approached us and asked us, "Would you be interested in being part of this program to test a new product we're developing?" And we're like, "Of course we are." <laughs> so this product is not even on the market yet. It's going to be on the market in September 2022. So a few weeks after this video has been released. And this is basically testing phase. Mm -hmm. We're going to be unboxing it. We're going to try it out. We're going to feedback the team. We have to be very, very honest with them about our experience in a real life setting. So yeah, this is gonna be a revolutionary product. I'm very, very excited. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. And I have full faith that it will be, actually, because it kind of bridges the gap between your power generators and your conventional solar setups. Yeah. Now, your power generators, they're small, um, they're very easily portable, which is brilliant, uh, but they kind of lack power and capacity. And then your normal solar setups, they aren't portable at all, and they require quite a lot of knowledge on how to operate and also definitely how to set them up. Yeah. And uh, this product bridges that gap completely. It's literally plug and play. You yeah, know? and uh, instead of having all these different components that make up the solar um, setup, yeah. uh, it's all kind of built up into one controller. So um, it should just be a matter of unboxing and plugging everything in. It's a five kilowatt hour battery, which is definitely enough for us to get started with. Yeah, it's very easy to extend as well. And um, the cool thing also I like the solar panels. Uh, you don't have to use EcoFlow solar panels. So if you already have some solar panels, you should be able to link them all in. Yeah. And it will operate very well with the product. Yeah, and also interestingly enough, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the company DJI, which are amazing at developing. Uh, they basically control the drone market at the moment because they're so so good. They are also the same people behind EcoFlow. And so great minds are at work here, hence why I think this product is going to be amazing. Completely. I think what we should do is... Uh, Open it. Let's do it. <laughs> cool. Shall we, shall we start? Yeah. Alrighty. Very excited. <laughs> Any ideas yet? Yeah, it's like the hub. So basically, you connect your batteries, your smart generator, and your other battery if you have two. 
and yeah, it's basically the main hub. All right. So, so far we've only unpacked two boxes and it appears to be the battery, which is the 5 kilowatt hour battery. And then here we have the controller. Uh, so this obviously connects to the battery, con connects to the solar panels and then uh, feeds the energy out into a consumer unit. And I wasn't expecting this, but in the box as well, they've given us a consumer unit with AC um, outs and also DC outs, which could be quite useful for running things like lights and so on. Um, and then lots and lots of cables. Underneath here, um, there is a secret compartment. It's not very secret, it does say remove. <laughs> <laughs> and then this bit is obviously the smart meter, the kind of thing that you can control. It's like a touchpad panel. Okay. So we're going to be attaching that much later. There is a video that we need to watch. Um, so we have only looked a little bit at that. So we're going to look at all of these things. And then once we m watch the video, everything will be a bit more familiar. We are leaving Lidl. <laughs> we've come to Lidl because we've done a shop um, after we've come back, obviously. And we also bought some things for a little something. <laughs> so, a little bit of time has passed. It's been two days since we unboxed the, the Coflo and got, a, got to know a little bit about it. Read the instruction manuals, it took about an hour for Omar to understand what needed to be done, so we're good. We have a new member here at Indigo Escape. <laughs> we don't have a name yet, so maybe you can help us. We have to, so first place is Alfie, then Ollie. We like human-like names that end with E. Here he is. He's a bit overconfident right now. Yeah, he's doing well. He's just a <laughs> kitty. <laughs> so this will be our fourth cat. As you know, uh, we kind of like cats. And uh, yeah, the idea today is to test the uh, EcoFlow, basically connect everything. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, just make sure it all works. We have to update the system and so on and then contact the tech team okay. uh, while it's still working. I was in China. So okay, okay. we woke up extra early today, but luckily uh, the little one uh, was very active, so we had no choice but to wake up at about half past five this morning. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's what we're gonna do now. Yeah, connect the EcoFlow. So we put everything out here on the table, ready to be connected, and we had a really good read of the manual. Uh, watched some videos and looked at some online PDFs, and it took less than an hour to grasp how everything came together. So right now, what we're going to do to start off with is connect the power hub to the distribution unit. And to do that, we're going to be just using these cables over here.
So now we've connected the AC between the power hub and the distribution panel, we're also now going to connect the DC. Okay, so now these two things are connected um, electrically together, but now they need to be able to communicate with each other, and so these are just like, they almost look like standard network LAN cables. One will be connected to the distribution panel, and the other one will be connected to the smart panel. Everything over here is connected, and now we're going to be connecting the power hub to the battery. So the next step after connecting all of these things is to attach the solar panels to the system. Now we're actually going to be doing something called a parallel connection. So if you imagine all the solar panels have a plus and a minus coming out of them, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to combine all the positives together and all the negatives together into one circuit which will then plug into the system. Another way of doing it is series where you literally connect them um, one after another. Okay, so the positive to negative, positive to negative, and so on. But uh, that increases the current, and we don't want to do that in this instance. So we'll do a parallel connection, and then we'll connect it over to the power hub. We're going to combine them into one circuit. Okay, so here we are connecting the solar panels to the power hub. All right, are we ready? <laughs> so I believe it's, you'll probably notice this thing turn on. Let's do it. Ooh, Ooh it is. It's working. 99 days. Okay, and okay. then we just need to charge it with the solar panels. So if you leave it like that, I'm going to take the cardboard off okay. the... Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's been about two hours since the solar panels were attached to the system, and in that time, 10% energy has been increased through the energy of the sun. Pretty cool, seeing that the panels are just laying flat up against the ground. Now the next step is for us to attach this to the internet. So we spoke to EcoFlow and they asked us to do this through the app. So I've downloaded it and that's going to communicate with everything and get it all updated before we can conduct even more tests like powering an appliance. Okay, so the update went really well. Uh, no surprises there, I suppose it was updating all the stuff that's happening in the background, I guess. Uh, the next plan is for us to actually use the system for powering an appliance. And so I've got an electric kettle inside. I've got this little circuit, which I'm going to now combine with the distribution panel. Yes! <laughs> hey! You can make tea. 
Oh man, this is, why did it just go, oh, because it's, it's just already worked. boiled. <laughs> <laughs> so have you tested this one here? Yeah, that one works. Oh yeah, let's see. It all is on. Surprise, surprise. Wow, wicked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that, that's all good. Oh. So our neighbours have become very active all of a sudden. Uh, it sounds like they're taking out some walls, I don't know, maybe putting in a new floor, <laughs> taking one out, who knows. Uh, so I want to explain something very important that we found out that my, may have been an issue, but I need to talk about something quickly. So we're gonna switch over to voiceover. Currently there are six trip switches that are each 10 amps. This could pose a problem if one of the circuits exceeds 2400 watts. For example, if you were to use a kettle and a toaster, it would just trip the switch. So a way to get around this is to actually wire in two switches into one circuit. So this is how I did it. We spoke to EcoFlow and they actually told us that on the final release product coming out in September, there will be two 20 amp switches and four 10 amp switches. So we're going to test out this new circuit now. And to do that, we're going to plug in our 2000 watt electric kettle and at the same time, the power station on turbocharge, which works at about 800 watts. So this brings up the total consumption to over 2800 watts or around 12 amps. Here you can see the load being evenly distributed between the two 10 amp switches, thus solving our issue. Okay. So, this is the plan for the installation of this off-grid power kit. So we're going to put some OSB here, very, very temporarily. And we're going to pull the kitchen inside and we're going to transfer it over here so we have more space to install the power kit inside because it needs to be like in a cupboard and that's where it's going to stay. And that's going to be where the gas boiler is now. And that is going to go somewhere else so there's a lot of jiggling around but it makes sense because this is all gonna go and we're going to seamlessly attach this side whoop, to this side but we can't do that now because I will explain to you now It's always nice to make things pretty. <laughs> These are one of my only surviving plants that I that I uh, planted before we left. It's a shame. I really wanted for more things to to go. I think this is a week, but let's leave it. So we got in trouble with the bills. Basically, um, we were overly ambitious with this. We basically follow a lot of the. It will be fine at the end of the day. Just keep going because that's apparently like a normal thing here. Coming from England is a little bit odd, but we just did it and now we are paying for it figuratively and literally. <laughs> but it only means that now everything is gonna be better. We have had engineers, architects all involved. And uh, yeah, basically we are getting a license for this build and um, it's gonna take a little bit of time and um, we don't know the time frame it could be weeks it could be months but um, yeah basically a lot of people are like if you're doing something like yours you just do it and then deal with it afterwards but if you're doing something from scratch with brick and mortar and all of that definitely do it properly from the beginning
But there you go. You know, it's it's just like how things kind of work here, and nobody will tell you this in other places. But this it is what it is. The other thing that happened was that my dad got really ill uh, while I was there. It kind of happened really weirdly because I was due to leave, and all of a sudden I decided to stay. Uh, I kind of had a hunch of. I'm having a good time here with my family. Why am I going back and being alone? Because oh, I needed a tour guide. So I um, I changed my flight and luckily so we were all there at the right time to help my dad. And uh, my dad's still in the hospital. He's recovering well. And um, I'm very, very proud of him because he's very, very, very strong. And... Um, yeah, I, I don't really want to share a lot because I don't want you guys to get emotional and I don't really want to dramatize our lives, you know, life happens and it's just the reality of it. Um, and uh, but, but yeah, I don't know how much he will want me to share as well because I can't really ask him at the moment. But he's, he's doing well, he's recovering and um, I'm going to miss for the following videos his comments because he does leave comments on our, on our comment section. And, uh, but I will be showing him the videos and that he will need to catch up later and leave all of those comments later. But everything's well. I just need to go back and be with my family, help my mom and be there for my dad and... Yeah, it's going to be a long trip, a long journey, you know, but it's it's going to be okay. And um, yeah, I'm very, very close to my family, so I really miss my dad right now, but he's recovering. And this is what's been happening. This is why we have been very quiet here. And um, yeah, it's going to be okay. Don't worry. Don't worry about us. <laughs> 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 oh. I think we should go to the river. <laughs>